Hey, thanks for joining me on Pagosa Adventures. Today is another DIY tutorial with Sandy Johnson. This is a super simple one because it's just adding an on-off switch between your solar panels and your solar controller in a leisure travel van. Now this is geared for a go power and that's kind of how we're, we're going for it. Um, and so that's what it is. The go power is what is in my leisure travel van 2020. I don't know if leisures ever changed that out in later year models, but if you have a go power, this is going to be a perfect tutorial for you. Now the part list to this that's very inexpensive is going to be in the description down below i do believe that anybody uh, could do this simple upgrade now why would you want an on off switch between there well it is good idea to have any between any electric components be able to have an on off switch where you can turn that off if you're able to replace that part um, so you can cut that electricity off uh, before you start unscrewing stuff right so always a good idea so we're going to jump over to the florida keys here in just a moment and sandy's going to show us how to do that but before we do that i want to talk about this we We've got a giveaway. In fact, we've got two giveaways going on. So this is a PowerRad Pro. This is a 10,000 milliamp battery charger that we carry with us anytime we're traveling. And so Janet will always keep one of these in her purse generally. We use our phones a lot when we're traveling because I use them uh, for video, I use them for photos. And Janet's constantly talking to her mother. <laughs> so uh, it's always a good idea to have a battery charger. Now what I like about this one that I've never seen before is it actually has a battery meter on here. So this is at 97%. Never seen that before. So PowerAd uh, sent us these to um, give away. So we've got two of them to give away. So you just jump over to bigosasupply.co slash win, and there you can enter to win one of the two of these. And there's also a propane fire pit we're giving away as well that you can enter while you're on that page. So anyway, lots of giveaways going on. It's Christmas time, uh, it's Christmas shopping season. So make sure uh, that you check these products out because they're great, some great products. Anyway, let's jump over the Florida Keys and let's let Sandy show us how to put an on off switch between our solar panels and our solar controller. Now we're going to install a switch on the solar controller solar panel positive wire and this way you will be able to always switch off your solar panel power coming to the solar controller and the reason you want to be, do that is if you ever have to disconnect and remove your batteries if when since the power from the solar panels are no longer going to the battery via the solar controller um they they will that power can very well burn up the solar controller you always need a place for that solar power to go and if you don't have the batteries the solar panel power should be switched off so you don't damage your solar controller so we're going to put in this switch it's pretty simple we need a step bit so we can drill Drill out a hole on, on that panel to install it, and it's really easy. It has this little ring. You stick it in, tighten it down. Um, we're going to use a wire nut to connect the solar panel wire that's coming down to this wire here that will be connecting to each one of these terminals. Um, but we use this to splice the solar panel wire together with a new wire. And before we get started, I want to make these this wire so once i'm up there taking everything apart i can just do do it and not have to stop so we're just going to cut this wire in half and then we're going to take uh, a stripper strip some off and about a half inch I think I'll do just a little bit more on this one since the wire nut will go, go here. Okay. All right, so these are the parts. Uh, I need the stool. And we have to remove that panel. Uh, I have this tool. This is a number one uh, Roberson bit, the square headed bit. And we're just going to... We're just going to remove these screws, don't lose them. So we pull this out. Okay. And this is the back of the solar controller. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, where's my bag? First, put a bag down because you're going to get a lot of shavings. Okay. Now, if you're careful, you don't really need to disconnect the solar power, you know, like cover up the solar panels or anything like that because you're just dealing with the positive, one positive wire. But if you're on a sunny day till day, if you're a novice, you probably might want to cover Yeah, them. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, that's, that's always the safest way is cover your panels uh, or do it in a covered area so the panels aren't producing power. Or at dusk. Um, but, you know, it's so the comfort level is up to you. Yeah, or dusk. Comfort level is up to you um, uh, as to, you know, how much voltage you're willing to risk. But the, the real risk is just that you don't touch that hot wire to anything metal. Okay. Uh, because, you know, then it will ground. Now, there isn't really anything metal. This is all wood. But, you know, you just, you always want to be careful. Got it. Um, and so, you know, we're not going to deal with that till we have to. Now, there's this nice little square. Mm -hmm. And this is where I drill. Okay. For. So, you just drill a little and test. Because you don't want too big of a hole. And that seems like that's going to work fine. Perfect. Now, the way you want to position it is have the off and on. So when you're out here, you'll be able to uh, see it. Right. You'll see it, you know, without having to get on a stool and fool around with it. So you just stick the switch through the hole. Like that. Take this little, little nut that comes with it. Tighten it. Make sure you got it in the right place. Now you only want to loosen the top one. Right. But obviously both of these are going to come off. I'm going to tighten that up. All right, now be careful with this because you don't want to lose that little lock washer. All right, so tighten this back up. Not gorilla tight. One of the cables. That we're going to make the splice. Oh, make sure your switch is off too, by the way. <laughs> so you don't want to hook it up. This will also be good when you go to switch out that solar controller. All you have to do is turn it off. Exactly. Yeah. When you're ready, when you're tired of the poor go power stuff. Change it for a Victron um, smart solar controller. You'll get up to 30% more. And what size should we look for for leisures? For 400 watts, uh, either 200 or 400, you want the 100 dash slash 30 uh, Victron smart solar uh, MPPT controller. 100 slash 30. If you were going to change to 600, you know, if you want to upgrade yourself to 600, um, then you'll need the 100 slash 50. The solar panel positive is basically this first red one. And you have to use a screwdriver to get in on this terminal right here and loosen it. And so you just have to make sure you get all the all the uh, um, shielding, sheathing. Off. yeah, all the sheathing off of it. Okay. 
All right, so then you just hook these together, twist them a little bit, and you want them to be even. You don't want one fairly even. I mean, bottom line, oh, and you want to hold them together tightly because when you put the cap on, you don't want to press one of the wires down. You want to keep them so they stay together and you don't want to push it. You just want to twist it. And you want it to be tight. So if it twists upon itself, that's good. You always want to wrap it with electrical tape because, um, you know, of course we have a lot of vibration in our rig, you know, when driving. So you always want to wrap wire nuts with electrical tape. So you are assured that nothing is going to come loose. Of course, there's a lot of uh, schools of thought on this. You know, some people are like, you don't have to wrap it. I always do because why not? I believe it's better to be safe than sorry. Okay, so now we got a splice here. Mm -hmm. And now the last thing we're going to do is stick this wire where the um, solar panel wire was. Pull the nut, bring the nut down so you can see that. So you want the hole is nice and open. And then you. How tight do you get that? Um, you know, it, you know, tight. Not, you know, gorilla. Let me, you know, break the nut, the screw out of the plastic box tight. You know, you just want it. But you don't want the vibrations backing it out. It, it, it won't. I mean, you just, you yeah. know, just want it, you know, tight. Gotcha. Good, you know, good, good and tight. Yeah. Just not uh, gorilla. You know. Yeah. Really cranking on it. Okay. And then just then you back. just push everything back in. Okay, four point five amps in. Oh, here it is. Turn it off, and yep, yeah, going down and gone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, or point zero one amps. Yeah, and turn it back on and then back up. Yep, cool. All right. Look at us. Nice. Not too hard. That's not bad, huh? You could do that, right? You can do that. I think anybody could do that. Could you, could you do that? Yes, I could do that. <laughs> with, with the video or without? With the video. Could you help me? <laughs>